This is my mom, Sofia Maria Chanchuli. This is my mom, Elizabeth Durant. This is my mother, Odessa Chambliss, and this is a photo of her in one of her nursing uniforms, and it was taken a few years before she got seriously ill. She passed away in 1996 from ovarian cancer, but we celebrate her life every day and we have established the Odessa Chambers Quality of Life Fund, and we raise money for nursing scholarships. Our, our mother was a, a kind woman, and she was very caring. She cared about people. She was very humble. She was a believer, a Christian, and she just loved life. But when ovarian cancer began to take hold of her body, we never realized how much pain she was in because she never complained. She was that kind of woman. But she shared with us that all she wanted for us to do was stay together. And because of that, we realized that we needed to keep her memory alive. The legacy that she left us was a legacy of love. This is my mom, Sophia Maria Chanchuli. She was born in Maria Mass. She was a seamstress and she made wedding gowns for a living. She had five children and I couldn't even tell you how many grandchildren and great grandchildren, but there was a very big group of us. My mom was a stay home mom. Um, she was the one that had everyone over at our house. We had um, a, a, a rather big house um, in the inner city and we had every neighborhood kid that would come to our house. Um, she would bake cookies, and she would not just bake the cookies and serve the cookies to us. It was an event where all the little girls in the neighborhood came over and they cooked and they decorated. And she's made, at her funeral, we had um, people come in with pictures of their weddings because she made hundreds of wedding gowns over the years and every neighborhood, I mean, everybody in our neighborhood had a wedding gown picture that my mother had made and they lined the tables with those pitches. I'm the one and only daughter of Elizabeth Durant. This is my mom at 106, and she's in the Silver Sneakers class at the YMCA. She and I both went to Silver Sneakers, and they enjoyed her so much. Everybody would practically stop doing their exercise just to watch her when she'd be sitting there moving her little legs and moving her arms. The YMCA, when they did their yearly report and they took pictures of her and put her in the centerfold and I teased her, I said, you had to get over 100 years old before you could make the centerfold. <laughs> and she laughed, she was a very funny person, but she's also very serious, but she loved children. Whenever a baby came around her, she just lit up like a neon sign. And she was very good with children. She worked at uh, Sugar and Spice Daycare doing the grandparent program. And they had a kid in there that cried a lot. And he cried and cried on everybody there. And she was the only person that could calm him down. So that year they gave her an award, a, a, a trophy, <laughs> for calming this kid down. <laughs> she. Uh, she loved working and doing things for people. She was always giving to somebody else. 